Hi everybody, my name is Mahalo Watts and I'm the ill core member at EKU's Division of Natural Areas. And today I'm going to be reading a book. I'm going to be reading this book called Living Sunlight, How Plants Bring the Earth to Life by Molly Bang and Penny Chisholm. So let's get started. Living Sunlight, How Plants Bring the Earth to Life by Molly Bang and Penny Chrisholm. Listen to me, do this one thing. Lay your hand over your heart and feel. Feel your heart pump, pump, and pump. Feel how warm you are. That is my light alive inside of you. I am your sun, your golden star. I burn. My light energy explodes in all directions, almost fades into endless space, but some tiny, tiny part of my light falls on your small planet Earth. I warm your land and seas. Melt your glaciers, create your winds. I do all this, but I do far, far more. My light becomes the energy for all life on earth. All living things, including you, Pulse with my light and keep it circling around and around on earth. How do living things do this? What is your secret? Your secret starts in plants. Green plants. Plants suck up water, H2O, from the earth. In daylight, green plants catch my energy with their chlorophyll. Then, kazap! Plants use my energy to break apart their water. Break the H2O into H and O2, hydrogen and oxygen. But as plants break apart the water, they trap my energy as little packets. Meanwhile, plants are breathing. Yes, plants breathe. They breathe out the oxygen they broke off from the water. And they breathe in carbon dioxide, CO2, from the air. Now, plants use the packets of my energy and the carbon dioxide from the air to build. Chunka, chunka, chunka. Sugar! And with this sugar, plants build all their parts. All the leaves and stems and juices, all the seeds and fruit and flowers of all the plants on earth are built with sugar made from air and water using my light energy. This is photosynthesis. Making life with sunlight, my light. This is my gift of energy to you. But wait, you are not green. You have no leaves, no chlorophyll. You cannot catch my light and neither can your parents or your friends, your teachers, or any reptile, insect, fish, bird, or mammal in the whole wide world. So, how do you get my energy? Do you know? Yes, you eat plants. When you eat their leaves and stems and juices, when you eat their seeds and fruit and flowers, you eat my energy my living light.
And plants do even more than give you food. Remember how in photosynthesis, the green plants breathe out oxygen? What happens to that oxygen? It fills the air. All the oxygen you living creatures breathe come from green plants. Breathe in. Feel the oxygen flow into your nose, your mouth, all through your body. Oxygen is a gift from plants to you. Your body uses oxygen together with the sugars from the plants. Your body burns them slowly to make the energy you use to move and grow and live. Without plants, you would have no oxygen. Without plants, you would have no food. Without plants, you could not live. Without plants, there would be no life on earth. Now breathe out. It is not oxygen that you exhale. When you use the sugars from the plants for energy, the sugars break apart inside your body changing back into water and carbon dioxide. So now you breathe out carbon dioxide and the plants all breathe it in. They will use it to build more sugar, food for themselves and other living things. So you see, life keeps circling around and around on your planet Earth through photosynthesis and through your cells. You share life with everything alive. Lay your hand over your heart and feel. Feel my light inside of you. You hold my light and make it live. You are a living sunlight. the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the book and you learned a bunch about sunlight. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.